That's all right. I had one. That's all right. I'd like to call the Slingsea Council meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have some changes to the agenda. What we have actually on the counter tonight, a proposed budget for the new uh, Tuesday farmer's market. And then I know that um, Mr. Campbell was going to talk about concatenant prep under discussion. And then also on the counter tonight, we have a Celine analytics. Is there any other additions to the agenda? Mr. Morrow? Excuse me, Mayor. Um, where are we putting the um, Tuesday Celine farmer's it's market? It's under discussion. All righty. Thank you. Any other additions to the agenda? Not do we have a motion to approve the agenda as amended? So moved as amended. Memorial second row. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We don't have any absences tonight. Citizen comments on agenda items under the Open Meetings Act. Any citizen may come forward at this time, make comment or question on items that appear on this agenda. Comment limited to three minutes per person, and the citizen comment period will be limited to a total of 45 minutes. Anyone who would like to speak is requested but not required to state his or her name and address for the record. Welcome all the school students. So it's a quick meeting, so thanks for coming tonight. You picked a good one. <laughs> it's a little boring, though. Hey, John. It's pretty obvious what I'm going to be talking in support of, which is the uh, bike, bike, um, the bike month for Celine, and strongly endorse that change. Uh, we have a lot of youngsters here that need the safe opportunity to ride and enjoy our community as we did as kids. So supporting any type of changes in motorized infrastructure is very important to make sure we consider all users, be it individuals who ride on the road or individuals who need side paths. So I strongly support that. And the idea that I can ride to the farmer's market midweek would be very, very pleasant for myself. So both would be great uh, amendments. So thank you so much. Thank you. Any other citizen comments? Now we'll move on the consent agenda. The following consent agenda will normally be adopted without discussion. However, at the request of any citizen or council member, any item may be removed from the agenda for council discussion. Move to approve as submitted. Second. Mayor Driscoll. Mr. Rose. <laughs> I'd like to uh, move C1075. Um, so that we'll have an opportunity to discuss that for the um, viewers who are not here tonight. Okay. Is that under 1074? Mm -hmm. Any additions? Okay. <clears throat> Would you like to approve the agenda as amended? Sure. Okay, Ms. Ping is approving the agenda, as, consent agenda adopted as amended and... Seconding. Mr. Ivey seconding. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Under public hearings, item 1052, the fiscal year 2010-2011 fire special assessment for fire protection. This is a motion to acknowledge receiving the April 27, 2010 memo from the finance director Burgoyne. Move to acknowledge receipt. Second. <coughs> Moral second ping. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, Mr. Burgoyne, would you like to explain the... Uh, assessment process one more time well uh, we're just going through um, advertising that it could be a fire special assessment but in fact uh, it is being recommended here that it be as millage instead of uh, special assessment and by doing that it's a slightly lower tax rate thank you and everybody got letters to that effect yes okay. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We'd like to have a public hearing on this. We have a motion to open a public hearing. So moved. Second. Okay, second Ivy to open the public hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public hearing is now open. Is there anyone that would like to speak to this item? Move to close the public hearing. Second. <clears throat> Tomorrow, second ping to close the public <coughs> hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The public hearing is now closed. This would be a motion to approve and adopt or not adopt <coughs> resolution number two, special assessment for fire protection for 2010 to 2011, 
Proving the estimated amount of $298,487 for fire protection for fiscal year 2010-2011. To approve and adopt or not adopt resolution number three, special assessment for fire protection 2010-2011. Authorizing the funding for fire protection for fiscal year 10 to 2011 by general fund tax <coughs> knowledge, thereby not exercising our authority to fund fire protection by special assessment for fiscal year 2010 to 2011. Do have a motion? Move to approve and adopt and approve and adopt. Second. Roads to approve and adopt and approve and adopt second in law. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 1074, this is a transfer IFT certificate 2008-303 from PATCO, incorporated to flat out incorporated. This will be a motion to acknowledge receipt of the April 27, 2010 Mountain Finance Director Burgoyne. So moved. Second. Move road, second <coughs> item. <coughs> Mr. Burgoyne. This is a uh, continuation of a successful business. Uh, the name change is um, if the business continues to operate and basically do what it did before there was a name change, the transfer is allowed and we support it. So it's a very simple request and it's uh, recommended to approve. Any questions for Mr. Burgoyne? All in favor acknowledge receipt, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. We need a motion to open the public hearing affording the applicant and all taxing units an opportunity to be heard. So moved. Second. <coughs> Little second ping. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> public comments are now available. <coughs> Anybody like to speak to this item? Move to close the public hearing. Second. Marl, second ping. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The public hearing is now closed. This is a motion to adopt or not adopt the resolution approving application of Flat Out Incorporated for transfer of industrial facilities exemption certificate number 2008-303 from Patco Incorporated to Flat Out Incorporated for an existing facility in the amount of $59,117 for real property and $1,051,615 for personal property. With the exemption certificate to remain in effect until its ending date, December 30th, 2013, subject to flat out incorporated entering into the tax abatement agreement as submitted. Move to approve and adopt as written. Support. Little second road. Discussion? All say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Item 1075 is a motion to approve and adopt Mayor Driscoll's proclamation of May 2010 as National Bank Month in the city of Selene and to encourage everyone to recognize the importance of bicycle safety and be more aware of cyclists on our streets and highways. So move. Move roads. Do we have second? Second. Second ping. Discussion. If we could, thank you very much. Um, I wanted to uh, I wanted to thank Mayor Driscoll and uh, hopefully the rest of the city council here for supporting this resolution to proclaim May as National Bike Month. And also wanted to ensure that um, our viewers and uh, other residents were aware of the efforts being made within the community to provide safer transportation alternatives to our personal vehicles. Um, we did last year within the city adopt a non-motorized transportation plan. Um, there is also a uh, $4,000 grant that came to Puffs for bike lane striping. There's another grant of, I believe, $7,500 to study a complete streets policy. And that would include not only uh, bikers, but also pedestrians. Um, we all are, I think, aware of the tragedy that uh, happened last year to a gentleman riding a bike um, in an area where uh, he should have been safe to ride, but wasn't. And so we need, as a community, to pay more attention to not only pedestrians, but also bicyclists, and encourage more use of that kind of transportation. Uh, it's been also well shown from an economic perspective that when people bike through downtowns past retail shops, they're much more likely to stop and go into those shops than they are if we're driving in our two-ton steel air-conditioned vehicle all sealed off from the outside world. So um, we have uh, a bicycle shop downtown that we should patronize and uh, just one 
and um, it's also, you know, it's getting to be that time of year. We need to get our bikes tuned up, get the uh, aired up. Um, the city of Saline is going to sponsor uh, community bike rides with the assistance of John Waterman and his, his staff <coughs> at Peak. And those will be, if I remember correctly, on the second Tuesday of each month, starting here at 6.30. So anyway, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion on the motion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> And under discussion, we have commission and committee reports from council members. Mr. Law. Uh, we recently had our planning commission meeting, and the uh, issue that was dealt with uh, solely, I believe, was, yeah, because the other item was deferred or put off for another day, was the uh, moratorium that has been put in place for... Um, the establishment of these dis, uh, dispensaries for the uh, medical marijuana use. And uh, Mr. Campbell, along with uh, Chief Button, gave a uh, detailed and uh, well thought out uh, presentation to the commission. And um, certainly it was educational. Uh, certainly I have a lot of you know things to go over before the uh, commission takes it up again, probably on May the 26th. But um, I, I won't go into the whole details of it because it is quite lengthy but it is a uh, uh, an interesting um, issue and, uh, and certainly um, look forward to the Commission uh, debating and discussing it and hopefully the public coming out to hear it as well on the 20th any other Commissioner committee reports <coughs> mr. little uh, just a little plug for the Celtic festival um, most of the uh, festival events have come together and it's just a lot of tweaking going on the Festival committees are meeting on a regular basis. Um, this year, new and different is that there's going to be a rugby championship. It'll be six teams uh, and playing in a variety of formats. And that will be uh, then. Well, Friday will be uh, Irish football. That was previously played at the high school field, but it's going to be played down at Mill Pond, uh, as is the rugby uh, contest. The, uh, we're adding a uh, thing called, well, it's called Walking, W-A-U-L-K, I-N-G, and it's about uh, the old world way of weaving, and uh, there'll be a group of weavers there, and they will also have a singer who, in the old world, they used to sing as they wove. Um, that's just some of the stuff. There's an awful lot of it going on. It's going to be a in spite of uh, some significant uh, financial cutbacks, uh, it's going to be a, a pretty good festival. Thank you. Are there any other commissioner committee reports? <clears throat> Not. We have um, reports and other announcements. I know Parks is having their cleanup. Want to talk to that, Mr. Ivey? Thank you, Mayor. The Saturday, the Saline Parks Commission invite all of you to drop by between nine and noon to Teft Park. Uh, each year, the commission selects a, a park in the community and um, asks for volunteers to come and, and contribute their efforts to uh, tidy it up, make sure that all the uh, debris and such that's accumulated throughout the winter gets cleaned up. So if you're available on Saturday, uh, after you go to the farmer's market, you can drop by Teft Park. That would be great. Thank you. Oh, yes, our farmer's market opened last Saturday, so that's great. Every Saturday downtown Celine, and I think you're going to do a little talk about that under when we get to the next item on the agenda. We have it under the next item down, so that's actually good. Are there any other reports or announcements? Are we talking about this? Do you want to talk about it? Well, not really, but I have a thing but that talks about this and the farmer's market. Excuse me? This, I just wanted to, to bring up that the farmer's market is not on the B Celine website as an oh, event. It was all last year, and I looked for it on several different weekends and it didn't populate under events because I like to put it, you know, then repost on Facebook and I couldn't find it anywhere to do that. So I don't know if Mr. Campbell will talk to the on Celine the Beast Celine <coughs> website. Yeah, I, I noticed that as well. I believe it's on there once or twice and then it's not because usually it's reoccurring. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. yep. Thank you. Thanks. Any other reports and announcements? Okay. You Nancy and Leslie, you want to come talk about the Tuesday? Is oh. that what we're doing? Or Todd? Yeah, I was going to do a quick introduction if I might. Okay, Mayor. sorry. That's all right. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, 
last week or the week before last, I was approached um, by Leslie and, and uh, Nancy. Of course, we all know uh, uh, Leslie Niehammer, the director of the Saline District Library, as well as Nancy Crisp, is our, the manager for the farmer's market. Um, and obviously, we still have this, this Saturday. Um, this starts May 1st, we'll the end of October. And they have an idea of doing an additional day a t on a Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., is that right? Um, so we talked a little bit about it, and I don't want to steal too much of your th thunder, but that's why um, typically uh, the budget would go that I've put out before you uh, goes before um, the, the uh, ED board. But I, just, I wanted to show you that the numbers, what their, the, the commitments they have, if we do were to proceed with this, uh, they do provide for a, a positive cash flow. Um, and, and just to also to know that it be, continue to be run uh, as efficiently as the as that current one, the Saturday is. So, um, I mean, I, the staff is certainly behind us. We did check out liability. We just we would have to enter into an agreement with the library because it would be it'd be, be proposed to be in the new library parking lot. Um, but we'd have to have an agreement with them, um, which they would draft up. And I know we're waiting for a little direction here, potentially tonight. But then we'd probably bring something to you. Um, for official action for because it is a city sponsored farmers market so for official action to say yes or no if this is something that uh, you all would like to do uh, unless there's any questions of I'm sorry will it increase our library our liability costs or is it in the umbrella I b believe it be under the umbrella and, and I'm, that's the other, qu the other question that um, that I have to confirm okay but unless there's any other questions be I Nancy or Leslie whoever would like to right. step step up and give some details well we're really excited about this and my vendors are most of my vendors do more than one market and they're ready to do the second market because there's going to be an abundance of uh, especially uh, produce fruit so I think he's covered everything I'm, I'm giving them a, a, the vendors a special price it's, it's not going to be a whole lot less but it's enough to make them happy because it's the first time and I don't know that we'll have quite the crowd on Tuesday that we would have on Saturdays uh, but so far I have plenty of vendors for the amount of space that Leslie is giving me at the uh, library so do I talk about where in the libraries because we're televised and people will be watching this and when you're going to start your plan for actually um, what we're looking at is running the, the Tuesday market from um, June 1st through the end of August so the vendors would show up at 3 in the afternoon. We'd, we'd block the parking lot off, you know, probably an hour before that. Um, I've already talked with Joe Freeman at Sling Schools and asked if any events were going on, and he said no, and he thought it was a great idea. So I think the schools, you know, uh, will support this too. Um, we're looking at possibly bringing in some music, some of the um, Tuesday events, and. I just envision this as being just a very festive affair, a great way to bring unity into a different location. I'm convinced that we're going to see people at that Tuesday market that we don't see on Saturday. And I, I sort of wear two hats here because I work the Ed's Bread um, booth at the farmer's market. And we sort of did a little informal poll on Saturday. And people, are, the people I've talked to are very excited about it. So I, I think it would be just an, another great thing to offer our community. Oh, I'm sorry, and where it's going to be is we looked at the new parking lot in the back, and I think what we want to do is put it on the north end of the new lot so that it's very visible from Maple. Great. Great. Any questions from Council? Mr. Lott. I have one, and just a minor concern, and I know logistically it can't be done where it is down on Saturdays, but I'm concerned that it, the, having one uh, farmers market in one location on one day and then having it on another location on another day may be confusing but well, maybe not that's just one thing that I sort of came to mind when this came up I don't know if you thought about that or is it, as Leslie just said it, it, they may not even be the same customers that go on Saturdays and on Tuesday I hadn't really thought about that but I don't know that there's much we can do about it so no we'll that's right yeah. it's actually a great opportunity for cross-marketing I think if you you know make it they're two totally different um, venues so and that I, I express a little bit I mean I'm, I think this is great and just love the farmers market we have in, on Saturdays and so I go to the one in Ann Arbor on Wednesdays to get my fix so I'm glad to hear that we're doing that in Celine and you know Celine 
uh, merchants will be getting that, that money. But um, my only concern, which I expressed to you, is that, and I also expressed to the city manager, is that I don't want to see it minimize the one we have Saturday because that also brings people to um, mm -hmm. downtown and there's ancillary benefits to that. And I know the library is also looking for that, that opportunity also, so that's great. But I um, <coughs> think that down the pike it turns out that people are more are going not on Saturdays that then I would not support this in future years. So this is I, I think it's a really great concept and I'll be there and supportive, you know, I think it's great. So but the downtown one's really important to our downtown at this point and I know all our businesses really have embraced it too. So but I think it's a great opportunity for the cross marketing concept and maybe we can do some flyers. I don't know, you know, oh, yeah. for the people on Tuesdays and Saturdays, vice versa, since you're coordinating with both. I think it's great. Ms. Ping. I just wanted to express the same concern. I think that having a farmer's market twice mm -hmm. in our town is fantastic. Um, but I know that the farmer's market is important to the businesses um, downtown. And I had the same concern as Mr. Law, is that there might be a little bit of, of confusion um, on what's where, when. And so, I, you know, while I support having another day, I, I don't know if a different location is, is the best thing. Um, who knows, maybe it'll be fantastic. But um, I just, I have a little bit of concern, you know, like in our capital improvements budget, you know, we have a farmer's market pavilion in the plan. If we have farmer's market in two locations, it sort of minimizes the reason we would have a pavilion um, to, you know, so I don't know, I guess there's a lot more that I think needs to be considered, but I'm excited to be able to have a market, you know, um, twice in one week in our town. Um, but as the mayor said, I think that, you know, there's a couple of kind of big concerns in that, you know, in the future that I, if, it, if it did take away from the original, the original farmer's market, that I probably would be in support of it for future years. Any question? Mr. Rose. I'd like to speak in support of the uh, proposal for the for a Tuesday farmer's market at the library. I think it's a great opportunity to expose more people to the benefits of shopping in our farmer's market. And we as a city have said time and again that we want to improve the health of our residents and this is a way to do it and there are i'm sure some people who can't make it to the farmers market on saturday mornings because of other obligations this gives them a second opportunity to partake of uh, of the good locally produced produce and um also to to market the farmers market more uh, there are probably some folks who might come to the library who don't know that we have our farmers market on Saturdays. It's, it's very difficult sometimes to get enough information out to everybody. So um, I, I'm excited about the possibility, and I think it's a great thing. And I think that the two of you are to be complimented for coming up with it. Thanks a lot. Do you have any any other questions for us? About I think you got everything worked out right through our city manager. Well, the only question, um, if we're going to start in June, we need approval fairly soon. So um, right, if right. there's any kind of feedback you need or any kind of questions. Well, the EDC answer. meets next week, next Monday, so I assume it'll be Oh, a start EDC. meeting? Yeah, because this is actually goes through the EDC um, budget. Oh. It'll, be, it'll be next Monday. Yeah. Next Monday? Oh, that's good. Then right. I can get my flyers going and all that. Yeah. Right. We just, I just want to bring it before you all because it is a city-sponsored uh, farmers market and wanted to make sure that you were all in the same all in support of it. Sure. Okay. So that should be helpful hopefully. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for all the work on this you guys. It's pretty exciting. Very it exciting. Is. So Okay, um, the next item under discussion is uh, the village marketplace uh, Buchanan project that has um, no longer has an approval and the status of that I know our building department engineer did a letter, or can you speak to that? Sure, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, as we were directed by staff um, back in uh, late March, early April, we sent out a letter notifying Michigan Cannon um, of some concerns that, uh, that we have of the site, um, of the, uh, I guess, former village marketplace and lofts since the site plan well, was not renewed. Uh, at the end of February, um, but we essentially asked, um, is that me, sorry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
sit back here. I'll try this one. Somebody's got it. Sir, I think Tim's back there. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, I'll just kind of try and uh, summarize the letter we sent. <clears throat> Concern one, general maintenance for the zoning code, uh, mowing of grass and weeds, uh, removing junk debris from the property, and, and that is something that, that uh, will be ongoing now, especially that the grass is growing and, and, and it will be from a code enforcement perspective. Um, uh, but then the other items uh, to, to grade the land, you know, fill and uh, so the draining the water problem to negatively impact the public health, safety, and welfare. The land be graded, um, and filled, and drained so it can be maintained in an urban lawn like manner. Uh, perimeter fence can be maintained in a safe and serviceable manner. Um, and then there's also a matter of a, um, a sanitary um, a lead for a, a residence there that's vacant, but when they were in the process of doing that project, they were in the process, when they were doing work there, uh, of putting in the sanitary sewer lines, and they actually disconnected that at that point, and so that needs, at some point, needs to be for that house. I mean, it's, I guess, unfortunate in that that house has been vacant this all this time, but but at some point, uh, if someone wants to use it, that needs to be hooked up. Um, well, essentially, we gave them um, two dates, one of May 1st, which is coming on, uh, to submit a remediation plan, uh, which they have not done, and then also that uh, they complete the site remediation improvements by July 1st. So at this point, again, well, from the code enforcement aspect, that's, uh, we're proceeding with those as, as anything may arise. Um, but then as far as the, the, the site grading and filling and drainage and that type of thing, um, we would basically we'd give it until July 1st to do it. We'd like to see a plan before that, which, like I said, the data's come and gone. Um, so that's where that is at currently. So what will happen, will, we, will Mr. Rubel contact them this week, or what's the next step? We have not had, we, we continue to, to uh, make contact, but again, we know they letter, we've not had a reply from them. So, um, we are, we are going to actually uh, um, make contact with uh, the former site manager. Um, and as well, it's usually the person that, that we would speak with anyway and see where things are at and what we may or may not expect or sh we should or shouldn't expect. Any questions, Mr. Rose? I, I did notice that there were two people out weed whipping the grass today. <clears throat> A little bit of response. Yeah. Okay. Any further questions on that item? Um, I think that's it. Does anybody else have anything else they want to add under discussion? If not, uh, under the Open Meetings Act, any citizen may come forward at this time, make comment or question the City Council. This public comment period will be limited to three minutes per person. <coughs> if you'd like to speak as requested by not required to state his or her name and address for the record. Is there anyone that would like to speak about anything? If not, our um, next uh, regular meeting will be on May 17th at 7.30 p.m. We have a motion to adjourn at 8.04. Move to adjourn. Move Morrow. Second. Second law. All say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion.